Hey guys, today I am going to talk about losing a large sum of money investing in magic cards. What did I invest in? Vintage, 400, 500 dual lands, play sets of Power 9, Alpha, Beta cards, not Power 9, but like good cards. Uh, complete sets of unlimited, I uh, sealed box collections, even some that came from Moody Chan indirectly, but they are initially were in Rudy Chan's hands. It actually has Rudy Chan's shipping address on a lot of these sealed cases that I received. And uh, my distributor, obviously I had a distributor. We were doing a lot of magic and yeah. I lost a lot of money investing in magic cards. Uh, I, there's many things that went wrong. Uh, vintage market collapsed, as Alpha Investment has stated. There is really no buyers for an old booster box in sealed. Uh, people will say, oh, what about breakers? Well, breakers don't o open old stuff. If you go on whatnot, they're always just hyping the newest product that is just released. And the older products, um, they typically don't hype because A, it's more expensive. B, the person opening it is going to get less value because that's typically what older products are. They're very inflated for what their actual value of the cards are. And see, many of the cards are just in Magic have been reprinted in a better set down the road. Like a double masters, a triple masters, a quadruple masters, that type of idea where, hey, this is all like Time Spiral remastered. It's all the best cards and free sets in one box and the box is one-tenth the price of a future site box. Okay, <laughs> uh, why would you pay 10 times the price for a future site box when you can get the now very, very, very low cost Tamagoyf in a uh, Time Spiral Remastered? Like the original artwork? Okay, okay, all right, I give you that. So a lot of what I am talking about here is it's just lost money. Uh, my solution to is to not lose more money. So I have basically stopped buying Magic uh, as a whole. Now I have a lot of, the last set I have is Phyrexia, but I, I bought that from Walmart and stuff. So I'm not even gonna buy from Walmart, hopefully. I hope I can resist buying from Walmart. You know, I, I have a Walmart, it's 24 seven, and they were fairly well stocked on Magic. They've always been well stocked in Magic. And you know, it, it's easy to like put into mind, hey, I wanna get some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And then you go to buy your $6 Ben and Jerry's ice cream, maybe two of them, if you're really, really uh, in the mood. And then you're like, oh, well, I'll get some dog dog treats and I'll get some minties and the minties are like $28. And like, well, if that's 20, I, I'll, I can justify buying this one collector's edition booster pack. Yeah. It can go down pretty bad. I mean, like when I go to Walmart, luckily it's Walmart. So I feel like, uh, I mean, if I, if I, it was like a Whole Foods, <laughs> it was a Whole Foods. If, if I had a Whole Foods near me, I don't know how high my, my random uh, grocery tab would be. It would just be like, my God, like, oh, okay, I want this. I want that. Oh, I want this for my dog. I want that for my dog. Uh, my dog's been sick lately. So he's had, he needs very expensive medication. Anyway, back to the idea of losing money and being okay with it. The first step is not to sell, not to, it's just stop buying. Stop buying, do not buy anymore. Don't get, don't. So if you wanna, you know, fill in a hole, you need to stop digging the hole. I think this is a very misconception that people have. Like it's when I gamble, I play poker. The last thing that you wanna do is, oh, I'll win back my money. I just gotta play some more poker. No, you need to cold turkey and stop going to the poker rooms at all. You need to stop taking the buses to the casino. You need to stop it. You know, there, there's no mindset where you, you're gonna open packs and op make money. There's, there's, there's just, it's crazy to think that's even possible. I'm experimenting with that concept right now and I can tell you, you're losing, even at distribution costs, you're just getting bloodied in the nose. Like, you know, you just get blooded in the nose every single time. Okay, now back to the reason I'm making this video. The first step to stop losing money is stop buying magic cards and collections and stuff of that nature. Now, I still am buying a little bit of Pokemon for my own personal enjoyment. Obviously, I like the new sets. I like Pokemon 
and I'm still buying Inuyasha. I've stopped buying Fire Emblem Five, and Inuyasha I'm, I rarely buy unless because it rarely comes. The reason that I think Inuyasha and Fire Emblem Cipher are better games, even though they're dead games, but maybe because they're dead, is they rarely come on the market for a good price. There's just so many magic collections, so many desperate people. I don't want to deal with that. I, I feel bad dealing with those people because they obviously need the money and I don't want your cards. I mean, <laughs> simply put, I have enough. I have enough. I had this guy email me the other day. Uh, I think he's a Chinese guy and he's... You know, I offered to sell him all my bulk for like pennies and he was like, no, I'm going to buy from Alibaba for cheaper. And he wanted to do a podcast. I, I don't have time. I don't have time. One of the biggest also things about not buying magic collections, it takes a shit ton of time emailing, emailing back and forth and back. I mean, you're talking about like, you know, prices, right? And many times people don't know how to use a buy list. So you have to explain to them one by one how to fill it out. And it's a, a little... It's very time consuming. Then you get on the phone, you, A, you gotta check if the cards are real, the condition in the cards are they described. If it's foil, is it actually foil? I lost a lot of money when I don't, I didn't check if it was foil. I just assume, hey, this guy knows what he's doing. And then some of these cards were not foil or they were the wrong edition. I can tell you the pain lands, a seventh edition pain land is worth a ton. An eighth edition pain land is not worth as much as you think it is. A 10th edition pain land for some of them are worth a lot, but some of them are not worth anything at all. Like foils are very finicky depending on EDH uh, and whatever deck is currently the strongest um, as people try to foil. So again, buying foil is crazy, crazy difficult to do in my opinion. Uh, I, I am happy with the foil collection I have, but I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done buying magic collections in general. Uh, the, the key is not to continue to buy, that's the key. And then you eventually want to sell. I have no intention of selling at this point in time, but I also have no intention of buying. And that's the first step. The first step is stop digging a hole. That's the first step. Hi guys.